నమస్తే వెల్కమ్ బ్యాక్ టు అవర్ ఛానల్ ఆయుర్వేద త్రీ సిక్స్టీ ది గవర్నమెంట్ ఆఫ్ ఇండియా ఈజ్ స్ట్రెస్సింగ్ మోర్ ఆన్ ద డిజిటల్ ఆస్పెక్ట్స్ దట్ ఈస్ అడ్వాన్స్మెంట్ ఇన్ డిజిటల్ టెక్నాలజీ సో దట్ ఈస్ వై దెర్ వాజ్ ద లాంచ్ ఆఫ్ సిరీస్ ఆఫ్ ప్రోగ్రామ్స్ కాల్డ్ యాజ్ డిజిటల్ ఇండియా వన్ ఆఫ్ ది డిజిటల్ ఇండియా ప్రోగ్రామ్స్ బీయింగ్ అప్లికేబుల్ టు ది మెడికల్ ఫ్రాటర్నిటీ ఈజ్ ఆయుష్మాన్ భారత్ డిజిటల్ మిషన్ సో ఇట్స్ ఆల్రెడీ ఇట్స్ ఆల్రెడీ టూ ఇయర్స్ సెన్స్ ఇట్ ఈస్ launched but still not many are aware of this kind of you can say program so this series this video series what we are presenting is focusing on the various aspects of this ayushman bharat digital mission and under various subheadings we are going to discuss them today we are going to see health care professionals registry what is the health care professional registry who are the ones who can enroll there and what could be the major you can see developments in the near future advancements or you can see the benefits for all those healthcare professionals is it compulsory or not all frequently asked questions are dealt here at the same time even the application process is discussed in detail the link is given in the description kindly watch this video till the end so as i already mentioned this is in relation to ayushman bharat digital mission so basically it is coming under the ministry of health and family welfare so national health authority is the one who is responsible or which is taking the responsibility of carrying out this mission now under this mission there are various subheadings so today we are going to discuss one of them called as the healthcare professional registry basically the pilot study of this entire mission was launched in august to the 2020 during the covid time and later uh, gradually the portal was developed and the portal is now active and we are able to get registered there so who is able to get registered today we are going to discuss on that topic that is the healthcare professional registry once the registration is done once the online appearance of uh, healthcare professional is there what could be the future you can say prospectives what are the other allied you can say people around the healthcare professional for example the pharmacy for example the patients for example the uh, laboratory and other things whoever is in relation to the health industry all will be connected through this mission called as ayurut ayushman bharat digital mission so one of the prime you can say part of that is the healthcare professional registry so who are those people who are coming under this healthcare professionals so there are multiple people one of them being the consultants the doctors themselves and the second one being the nurses so nurses and doctors these are the major healthcare professionals now what this registry does is it's a comprehensive you can say the repository of the end of the you can say verified healthcare professionals so whoever is there in this registry it means he is a or she is a verified healthcare professional he or she can be contacted through digital mode by the required people and also there could be sharing of information in a easy manner through the digital mode so what are the uh, advantages we are going to see one by one so this is one of the principal you can say healthcare ecosystem development in india and unlike the earlier times where the patients used to carry a lot of files maybe regarding previous history and all in future it may not be the case simply going to a hospital or clinic with bare hands also could be sufficient and that is the entire dream of this project and of course it is a very good plan well planned you can say and definitely it should be successful so all system of medicine are applicable or you can say eligible for this registry irrespective of science it could be the mbbs it could be the bams it could be the bhms bnys any of the healthcare professional from any of the science medicine medicinal science is eligible so how to apply for this registry is a simple process you just need to visit the official website so that is uh, mentioned uh, the separate video has been made separate video has been made just to know you i mean just to make you know regarding the process of application so the link is given in the description you can go through there and definitely today itself kindly apply your healthcare registry uh, like application so that you will get the healthcare professional id so registration form and then submitting is the entire process 
now why you should do that what is the process or why what is the need so just like aadhar card being the identity for the entire indians driving license being responsible for you to ride with legal aspects similarly in a healthcare professional system in you can say in the ecosystem there are so many quacks and other uh, you can say people who are practicing without proper degree so it's a very good method or identification criteria for the patient to know whether he is a legally practitioner or is a legal practitioner or not so it's a very good identity for any of the healthcare professional it gives online presence and discoverability discoverability you may be sitting it at your home but if you are there in this registry your name will be visible to the entire audience across the globe through the digital mode so discover, discoverability will be more then telemedicine if there is a requirement there could be in future there is a uh, you can say proposed or you can say these are the planned ones you will be able to connect with the patient or patient will be able to connect with you unified digital services here the digital services will help you to have certain uh, of your documents you can uh, documents renewed maybe if, if there is a renewal if you require noc or if you require a digital signature or anything like that so this will be a easy method to have access even at your fingertip now once you apply for this you will get a healthcare professional id so what is the benefit of that particular id is you can go paperless and this is one of the principal uh, need of the today due to the excessive use of newspapers in our own science it is very difficult to maintain uh, the ecosystem or balance between the nature and our needs and this is one of the best method paperless go for e or electronic media usage for any of the medical health related issues access health health records if a patient is coming to if he gives permission for you to access his old health records definitely this is one of the best method because you will have the entire idea of his previous diagnosis treatment what are the uh, discharge summary and everything you will be getting in one finger tip next digital services you will be able to have uh, easy updation easy qualification updation affiliations any of those legal issues will be easily managed managing with this kind of id and then digital onboarding you will be entering into a digital health professional layer so there you will be able to treat the patients as per your specific you can say uh, the speciality and also maybe entering into administrative purpose now develop an online presence so if, uh, since you are sitting only at your clinic or if you are using certain paid versions of apps for consultation so certain times you may feel like it is not going so well so because of this healthcare professional id and this online presence you may be able to connect with multiple patients across the globe now the entire process requires these four important criteria one is or you can say the connecting dots health id for the patient then for the healthcare professional it is the professional registry and then for the uh, hospital setup and clinics their registry and then the health records so these are the important ones now the entire hpr you can say healthcare professional registry can be can say summarized in the following ways there are so many frequently asked questions and the answers are given so these are very much essential for any of the uh, healthcare professional so now who can enroll as i already mentioned any of the doctor or nurse from any of the medicinal science irrespective of the uh, practice what they are doing so they can enroll here right now the opportunity is given for doctors and in uh, coming days even the nurses will be able to enroll here now how to enroll for that we have made a separate video with detailed demo given a demo of one of uh, the healthcare professional so with you can say step by step analysis and requirements you can easily uh, get your registration done just go through the video description is given in the link what is the benefit of benefits of this registration we have already seen so that is uh, going to be repetition so i am not going to repeat that so here you can say uh, so there are some 8 to 9 points are there so major issues are going paperless online presence and discoverability will be on a higher level and then regarding uh, the patient and communication ease communication ease will be there and there will not be any hidden you can say uh, material from the patient certain times they may hide certain previous diagnosis and other things they they can be avoided here now is it compulsory 
is it compulsory for every health professional to have this enrollment or registration as of now there is no compulsion but it is a voluntary process and advised as well it's nothing uh, you can say dangerous a simple step and a very effective step so i think everybody should come forward in the coming days maybe the authority will take a call on that but right now there is no compulsion it's a voluntary process there is no fees at all you don't have to pay anything even for a simple registration in your state or central board you'll have to pay huge amount of money and of course renewability depends on individual board here there is no fee absolutely it's a free process so now you may have a question like you may or might have got a degree and you are not working anywhere you are sitting at home now you may be feeling like why uh, why can't i enter this system ecosystem health ecosystem are you eligible yes you are eligible there is no need of having any active uh, practice during registration year you just need to have a registration in a particular board then it is more than sufficient of course degree or already i mean now you already have a registration in state board or central board and then this is a healthcare professional registry are they different yes they are different then what is the need of uh, having them separately so central and state uh, registry will have a different rules set of rules based on the state where you have registered maybe karnataka will have different rule rajasthan will have different rule punjab will have different rule now this healthcare professional registry will be a common one and this depends on the state or central board now healthcare professional registry is an independent portal but still the registration will be validated by your state board or your central board so validation will be done by that otherwise both are different now who is the regularization authority so your own board whatever i mentioned your the healthcare professional registry go hand in hand with your state board registry state board registry is there they have verified you are already you can also be there in hpr that is healthcare professional registry if you are not there in any state board then you cannot apply here registration is a must so you will be authorized or you can say regularized by your own state or central board and regarding uh, on a higher level so based on your science maybe if it is ayurveda then nccm if it is a homeopathy then nch if it is a mbbs then nmc so such kind of uh, dental dci the bodies will be governing now what is the role of this nha national health authority in this hpr so it is giving a platform so national uh, health authority is a part of the ministry of health and family welfare so now this gives a platform here and the rest of the things will be governed by the uh, mca and ncsm along with the other irrespective i mean depending on the individuals uh, registration so it, they will be authorizing at the same time uh, the you can say the boards where they have registered they also will be maintaining the uh, regularization otherwise the nha will have majorly platform and the data stored will be uh, utilized for maybe governing purpose and that authority also can be there with nha otherwise not it is having indirect role but directly the boards are participating so is there any rule for these professionals yes there are rules these are uh, general rules what uh, medical ethic ethics and etiquettes are there so whatever the board or uh, the respective uh, uh, the authority as given for a general practitioner or the practitioner so the same rules will apply here otherwise you probably don't have to worry about too much worry about the rules so you might be having a query in your mind regarding is the data secure if i register there so many data are stored in that registry is it safe as per government it is a safe one and of course we are giving data in each and every place so even for a simple aadhar card even for a simple registration everywhere you are giving and digitalization is very common now so i don't think this will create uh, so much issue so you can uh, you can be sure of that now is the information whatever you given is it visible throughout the globe it depends on you if you want to make your profile private you can keep it so that nobody can see just like your other social media uh, apps and if you want certain information only certain information to be visible you can do that so again you are the owner of your portal i mean the application or the profile you choose what you want to be visible from your account so who can access access the data on this registry as i already mentioned the publicly visible things is left to you you can choose what you want to uh, be visible otherwise the uh, higher authorities they of course they can have any uh, access to your data of course they already have the data here it doesn't make any difference so if you change your name maybe after marriage or you there is a uh, change in name due to some other reasons is it possible to change here yes it is possible but again it depends on your state or board i mean state board council or central board council where you are registered if there it changes then here also it can be changed there is no issue with that so if is there any regular up, updation process 
yes if you change your address if you change your uh, you can say if you add up your higher qualification yeah, of course whenever it is necessary you can update the information here so it's not a one one time process one time is the registration you can always update as and when required so once you are on board on this platform can you perform certain things which are beyond your speciality this could be one question maybe for example you are not a surgeon but you are you want to carry out a surgery in a uh, patient and is it a good platform or is it a, is the platform giving that opportunity now the answer is the board what you have registered has already set certain rules for your practice now whatever they have set the rules the same will apply here which means you are allowed to practice in the system of medicine in which you are uh, like you are in a you are an expert so this will be judged or you can say authorized by the higher authorities so there is an option in the application regarding workplace currently where you are working so if you are having multiple workplace does it have any uh, issue no it doesn't have any issue irrespective of number of workplaces you can add how much ever you want you can add you need to upload the relevant document maybe the apartment letter maybe the pay slip for regarding the place of work and that will be uh, updated in the portal and of course if you choose to show it to the public it may be shown so once the application is done what is the next process once the application is complete then the, the the entire application will be sent to the board so the board will verify your data once the board verifies then you are registered in hpr till then it is considered as provisional now at any point of time you can change your personal uh, information as per uh, the requirement so if you want to update the account as i already mentioned change in address and other things you can do it at any time so regarding the application process in detail you can see in the description so other than this session there are other parts of ayushman bharat digital mission so those also will be covered in the coming session you can click in the uh, you can click the link in the description for all those sessions so if you like the content of our channel kindly like share and subscribe to our channel and we watch our other playlists as well you we might be having uh, uh, the requirement of other playlists the videos in the playlist please ask your other i will be friend to our uh, have a look at our channel and if you like it and you like to share it And this video is a very one that can be shared with many of the healthcare professionals. So kindly share it to the right. Next time, thank you.